Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to have a look at Endgame number 33 and 34 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Vila. This is a must read book for all club chess players to improve the chess endgame. So in this endgame we are going to have a look at same colored bishop versus a pawn. In the first endgame uh, white is actually trying to get rid of this defending uh, bishop. So how can white uh, defend uh, get rid of this bishop simply play bishop f3 and after bishop f4 just simply uh, so that uh, bishop has nothing else but to take on the bishop and after that it's an easy win for white now going back to this position what happens if black plays king e8 tries to come forward of the pawn then you use the same technique bishop c6 cut uh, uh, this bishop from this diagonal and then after bishop takes king will come to d8 and as we know we have learned this in endgame 2 or 3 just play d7 to literally push the king out and after that it's an easy win for white endgame 34 uh, it's almost the same scenario we have uh, black has a bishop and a king and the whole idea is for the white bishop is to divert this bishop from uh, attacking this pawn. So here white will play bishop d7 to get rid of the bishop. Black can simply repeat uh, to f1 and after g4 simply come to d7. And bishop e2. The only difference here is because the king is uh, opposite white's king behind the pawn it's not possible to chase this bishop off so bishop will just go to e2 bishop c6 and bishop g4 and as you can see this uh, square is now attacked this was not possible if the king was on e8 as we saw in the previous example um, so it's a ironclad uh, draw according to the author of this book i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos like this please like and subscribe and it's bye for now